I see a lot of Arsenal fans. They hate Emery. It. It's not that they just hate Emery, because fair enough. A lot of United fans hated Mourinho, right? Mm. But it's the fact that other people praising Emery Annoyed gets them. them annoyed. Yeah. Guys. Yeah. <laughs> Look, not everyone is meant to be together, right? Mm. One man's trash is another man's treasure. Mm. Football is very appreciate. circumstantial. Mm. Just because he flopped at Arsenal, which, by the way, coming after Arsene Wenger immediately, Allegri would have flopped there. Mm. Sorry would have flopped there. Mm. Pioli, like a lot of b- managers at big clubs would have flopped at Arsenal. Please let it go of Emery. <laughs> Just because he wasn't right for your club doesn't mean that the rest of the league can't appreciate what an live, amazing man. job he's doing. Mm. That right there? Lee is my guy. No disrespect to him, but that's gaslighting. He is gaslighting the Arsenal fan base. Why are you praising Emery and mentioning Arsenal in the same light? You know you can praise him without having to mention Arsenal. I know he was Arsenal's previous manager. I know that he was Arsenal's manager before em- uh, before Arteta came in. And everyone's going to look at what he's doing at Aston Villa, say, oh my God, he's doing a wonderful job. Everyone did this when he was at Villarreal. They're like, look at what he's doing at Villarreal. Everyone d- is going to do this wherever he goes going forward. They're going to compare it to, oh, maybe Arsenal should have kept him longer. This revisionist history with Unai Emery needs to stop. I know Leah might not be doing this specifically in this video or in this clip, but by saying this, He's triggering people into saying, oh, maybe he Arsenal should have given him more time. Maybe he would have turned it around. If you guys don't know what happened, I'll, 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 get, I'll send you past memory lane for a second. But these shouts that Una Emery should have been given more time or Arsenal fans don't show him no respect. You want to know something? A lot of people actually look at what Una Emery is doing at Aston Villa and they're like, good job. It's nice to see him doing well. We've moved on. He's moved on. We have Mikel Arteta. He's moved on to, uh, to Aston Villa now after his previous job, Villarreal. We don't need to go, keep going back to Arsenal. But since we're going to keep going back to Arsenal, let me tell you guys something. We've moved on, and he has also. And Mikel Arteta is the right man for the job at this moment in time. He's had his time. It's now Mikel Arteta's time. We don't need to keep talking about uh, Una Emery for too long. But I'm just going to show you guys some things that people keep forgetting to mention in his time at Arsenal. First, you have the game, the performances in the games. We we used to face almost 30 shots. 30 shots. Can you guys see this? Let me make it bigger. 30 shots versus Wolves. 31 shots to be exact versus Wolves. We drew this game 2-2. This just goes to show you what type of performances we were having under Una Emery. And it got really bad. It got really bad to the point. Do you guys remember the Emery out stuff? You guys remember how much people wanted Emery out? You guys remember how fans were fed up? They were writing cutouts. They were they were they were doing stuff that they didn't even do for Arsene Wenger with with Una Emery. And of course, whoever came in after uh, Arsene Wenger was going to be the pressure. But people really wanted him out. People really wanted Una Emery out. And part of the reason why people really wanted him out, we gave him an extra chance. We gave him an extra chance after we got embarrassed in Europe in the Europa League final versus Chelsea where we lost 4-1 Eden Hazard dunked on our head Chelsea dunked on our head in a cup final and we still kept it and people have the audacity to sit here and say Arsenal fans don't like him it's not that Arsenal fans don't like him we've moved on what don't people understand about that we have moved on we don't need to be continuously looking back at Una Emery's time at Arsenal and saying, oh, let's give him more time. We're looking at what he's doing now and saying, oh, if he stayed at Arsenal, it would have worked out better. He lost the dressing room. For anybody who doesn't know, he had players, academy players, making fun of him. He had people in the dressing room who did not believe in him. You had Lacazette score equalizer versus Crystal Palace at home and stand straight and not even celebrate. Just goes to show you how much people didn't want to to work under Unai Emery at Arsenal at the time. And when he got sacked, deservedly got sacked. The performance and and the crowd didn't even turn up for the the Europa League game versus Frankfurt. And deservedly so. We lost that game. And I don't think even if we had the crowd there, we won won that game. The morale was just that low. When Unai Emery got sacked, a lot of Arsenal fans on that day probably celebrated. Today, we see Unai Emery doing well, and we applaud it from a distance. We don't need to go back and revisit 
his time at Arsenal. We don't need to continuously go back and say, this is what he could have done if he stayed at Arsenal. This is what he could have done. No. And if we rewatch that that clip from what Leah said, there's a lot that I agree with. But the main overarching thing that he was speaking about. I see a lot of Arsenal fans. They hate Emery. It's not we don't hate Emery. That they just hate Emery, because fair enough. A lot of United fans hated Mourinho, right? Mm. Once he's gone, we don't really care about him. But it's the fact that other people praising Emery annoyed gets them. them annoyed. It's not that other people praising Emery annoys us. It's the fact that other people praise Emery to knock down Arteta. That's what annoys us. Yeah. Guys. Yeah. <laughs> Look, not everyone is meant to be together. Understandably so. Not everyone's meant to be together. That's why we've moved on and he's moved on. But yet, football fans want to banter us with Una Emery and seems to be the stick that they want to be Arsenal fans with and Mikel Arteta with. Together, right? Mm -hmm. One man's trash is another man's treasure. Mm -hmm. Football is very circumstantial. Mm -hmm. Just because he flopped at Arsenal, which, by the way, coming after Arsene Wenger immediately, like Allegri would have flopped there. Mm -hmm. Sari would have flopped there. Mm -hmm. Pioli, like a lot of managers at big clubs would have flopped. He's not wrong, 100%. A lot of managers would have probably flopped after the pressure of uh, of coming and being the successor to uh, to Arsene Wenger. Of the Arsenal, please let it go of Emery. <laughs> this right here is definition of gaslighting. What are we letting go? What are we letting go? You've literally said your own fans speak about hating Jose. And I've just told you, we don't hate the guy. So there's nothing to let go. You've just out of nowhere decided to bring this up after we did, lost to him. After we lost to Aston Villa, people were more upset about the referees. No one was really saying, I can't believe we lost to Emery. The reason why people get at Martinez is because he continuously brings us up. Una Emery doesn't really bring up Arsenal. He's not really taking any digs at Arsenal. He's not really made fun of Arsenal. He's been nothing but respectful, actually, since he's left Arsenal in the way that he speaks about Arsenal. So, yeah, respect to Elias, but I completely disagree with his take. And I think he was gaslighting us, and it was an unnecessary point. But yeah, what was the title of the point? Other other people's praise on Emery gets them annoyed. Do Arsenal fans need to let it go with Emery? Let me know in the comments what you guys think. I think this is just gaslighting. But yeah, that's that was it for me on this. And I'm gonna be doing this kind of series where I react to videos and I and I reply to stuff in the comment section and let you guys know what you, let me know what you guys think about this video. And hopefully I can do more short videos for you guys going forward in the future. You guys can check me out on Twitter, you can check me out on TikTok and of course here on YouTube. And I'm out of here people. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this new style of video. I'm out. Peace. Let me know in the comment section of course what you guys think. Don't forget to comment. I'll read your comments and I'll try to respond to them as much as I can. Bang.